Hello. So, I just got uh, an OP1. I bought one when they re-released them Valentine's Day. I know, very controversial. Anyway, I've wanted one for a while and I'm very excited it's here. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I made my first track yesterday and I thought I would explain a little bit how I made it and show you what I made. So, um, here it is. So first things first, I had so much fun using it. It took me an incredibly long time to make the track because I was learning how to use it while I made the track. And I'll show you a little bit about the sounds I used and yeah, see, see if you like it. So first things, I really like the synth sampler. I find it so fun to use. Um, the first sound that I used, I actually made a pad, so it sounds kind of like this. And I actually made this noise by sampling my voice. So I just sampled, I can show you what the sample was originally. It's uh, pretty funny sounding because it was me singing. <laughs> and I just sampled into the internal microphone. So I'll just uh, put the uh, ADSR back to normal. So it sounded kind of like this. <laughs> just so much fun even just doing that even if it doesn't sound good anyway and then i edited the the sample and i edited the here i'll load back up the uh, pad that i made so i just edited the sample Oops. there we go i'm still learning how to use this thing <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then I also, so I just did this as my main track, and on top of it, I thought I would try out some of the sequencers, so I had this other synth that I found, I think this was a preset, and I used the Tombola sequencer, and I find this thing so fun, so... Like you can just drop notes into it and make it spin. And you can adjust the gravity and the speed and all kinds of stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought that'd be a good way to make some kind of noise behind. And the first track, here I'll mute the others. The first track I made kind of just had the pad I made and you can hear the, the little twinkles behind. So you kind of get the picture there. Uh, it was like super easy to do once I figured out how to do it. And it was a lot of fun. On the second track, I started to use kind of, uh, I thought it sounded kind of, I really like old school video games and this is using the Dr. Wave synthesizer. Um, I have it set up mono and I I did change it a little bit but um, I do like the way it sounds and I kind of just recorded myself playing over a loop of the original pad so so you can kind of hear what that sounded like with both yeah, I'll just skip forwards a little bit So it's kind of a chill track. One thing I really like about the OP-1 is I used to play guitar a lot and use a looper, and I find that way of composition easier for me than sequencing or painting in MIDI notes. I just like to kind of perform a part and see how it comes out, and a lot of the times I find it is more organic. So anyway, once I liked the way that sounded, I decided I needed to put some drums on it. And the drums I also, oops, the drums I also played uh, just as I made the track. So let's, 
we skip forward to where the drums come in. So I just played the drums kind of at a stumbly beat, and I think it sounded pretty good with it. And the drum track's really simple, so I just used this. I think this was a preset as well. I just used the kick and that hit. But yeah, one thing to mention too is that I, I uh, did put reverb on the whole track. So without the reverb, this is what the kit sounds like with the re master reverb on. I think it sounds kind of, makes it just sound kind of distant. Um, I think the whole track sounds better with this reverb on it. Anyway, I'll go back to the tape. So here's the drum line I made. I actually recorded some other parts first and then I, uh, let's see, if I skip forward. So I recorded kind of a second melody. Let's find it. Here we go. So I just did different chords for the pad, different notes in the tombola, and I just soloed kind of over top with the Dr. Wave synth. And I actually, at this point, I thought the track sounded pretty good, and I also, I mean, it's pretty simple, but I was pretty happy with it, considering it's the first thing I made with OP1, and I was having a lot of fun, but I thought I was missing something, and I didn't really know what to do for a while, but later, I decided to put bass on, and, I mean, that seems so obvious now, but... The bass, the bass sound I used, I actually used uh, an app on my iPhone. It's called Synth One, and I just programmed a synth on there, and then I sampled it into the sample part of the synthesizer. And the original sample, I'll turn the effects off. The original sample sounded kind of like this. So you can kind of hear it's a little growly. And I, uh, I did change the release a little bit, but and then I put, used the nitro filter on it. So filtered a little bit of the high out and then I put an LFO on. Um, I just had it to modulate the pitch a little bit and the volume a little bit, a little bit of tremolo. So it's actually quite subtle. I only have it at five out of a hundred on both. So for the pitch, for the vibrato and the tremolo, it's pretty, pretty, you can hear it's pretty subtle. But I thought it was kind of a nice bass sound. And I recorded a bass line in, and I recorded just two different uh, bass loops. One of them is the bass loop for the first portion of the song, and then the second. And I faded it in slowly as I first played the line. So as you can hear, the bass is super subtle. But in the total mix, I think it added quite a bit. So let's go, I'll just turn all my uh, tracks back on and I'll give it a play.
So I hope you liked it. Um, there are a couple things that I want to mention. I know how you can dump the tape tracks directly into your DAW or whatever else you're going to use. I, and these files are mono and they also don't, it doesn't seem like your mixer, what, however you mix the track with the effects, anything, it doesn't affect it because it's playing off the tape into the mixer out of the OP1. So to get the track on my computer, I actually just recorded it with the line out because I liked the way I had it mixed in here and I suck at mixing and mastering and whatever else. Really, I'm not great at sound design. I'm not really great at anything, but I uh, <laughs> just like to have fun. So I just recorded it straight out and didn't even bother editing the track at all. Maybe in the future, I'll figure out a different workflow for that, but I really enjoyed making the track. If anyone has any tips, um, wants to tell me how I should be doing something differently. I would love to hear them in the comments. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it.